I've never gone all in for what I really love in my life. But this time, I would go all in for my dreams. I've always dreamed about starting my own YouTube channel, but doubts held me back for over a decade, wondering if my life is not too boring and if anyone would actually be interested in what I have to share and watch my videos. Then a year ago I decided to take the plunge. I committed to uploading a new video every single week. I decided to make videos about the life of a witch, something that has been with me all my life. About how to find your own magic again, how to live in harmony with nature and how to breathe new life into old things with a little creativity. Honestly, uploading every single week while working a full-time job has been really challenging at times, but I stuck to my schedule. Because when I uploaded my very first video on this channel, I made a promise to myself. I've never gone all in for what I really love in my life. But this time, I would go all in for my dreams for what my soul really longs for. And it's these decisions where you feel like you are jumping from a cliff into the ice cold water and before the jump you think, am I really going to do this? Am I crazy? That will open up these big, big doors for you that you could never imagine. And I know starting a YouTube channel may not feel like this big, scary decision. But if you've been struggling with thoughts like I am not enough, I don't know enough, my life is boring, I am not good enough at XYZ, then trust me, a seemingly small action like starting a YouTube channel can be really scary. But it has been a year now since I started to share my journey as a witch and my thrifting adventures on YouTube with you. And so much has changed. Just as the different seasons have shown changes in nature, I have also gone through changes together with them. Pseudo changes that have taken place more on the inside than on the outside, so far. I became more creative, more intuitive, more aligned in living with nature and my surroundings and more organized even. I became more joyful, even clearer on my life and what it is that I truly want to manifest. Since being on this journey without really realizing it, I've been gently being guided to make decisions for no one else but myself. So doing the YouTube journey together with you has been more than rewarding to me and I hope you are having fun here too. So what exactly has happened and changed in this one year since I started making videos for this YouTube channel and why do I want to share this with you? I want to share this with you because I want to inspire you to start sharing your own unique magic with the world. So if you've been called to start your own witchy YouTube channel, to start with an enchanted Etsy shop to share your beautiful art, if you wanted to start making songs or write a fantasy book but you haven't done so yet, then this is your message to start today. And here is why, from my own humble experience in hope that it will inspire you in some way. This one year has undoubtedly shown me where my limiting beliefs are that keep me from manifesting the life that I want, where I need to do the healing and I can say that I really started to practice compassion for myself. This journey has taught me the importance of patience, persistence and consistency and I developed tremendous confidence. Even when it looked like nothing was going in my favor, I still kept going. I was forced to challenge myself in new ways and as I shared my journey, I found myself becoming more confident in my abilities 
and more open to new experiences, even embracing change. And I think this is what happens in whatever way you share your magic. You will be asked to develop trust and compassion for yourself as well as patience, resilience and persistence. But all of this leads to so much personal and magical growth. I always knew that I am really creative, but in the past few years I started to doubt whether I really was that creative. But since I started to make videos on YouTube, I could feel this creative passion again for the first time in a long time. I remember when I had to make a video with a classmate for my English class in grade 13 and while everyone was watching the video we put so much effort in. I felt so proud and I cannot even explain this feeling. But I can still see myself standing there in front of my teacher and the class feeling like I just received an Oscar. In this one year of making videos I was overflowing with all these ideas for new videos and new projects that I want to bring to life. The desire to create something and really channel my energies in a very specific direction came through so crystal clear. A little spark turned into this huge fire. So sharing my magic in these videos really invited my creativity back into my life and all the research and filming and going out gave me so much inspiration. And I think every artist will agree on this. When you see the final piece of your creation that once was this tiny little spark of inspiration is the best feeling in the world. Making videos about witchcraft and folklore and herbalism really helps me to connect to my surroundings and the land I live on and see the magic in all the small details that could be lost by the eyes of others. A few years ago I would walk around and think, oh wow, it's already autumn again, the leaves have already fallen and I would miss all the magic in nature around this time of the year. One season turned into another and I was not even aware of that. Now it feels like I'm kind of changing together with the seasons, turning with the wheel of the year. Whenever nature puts on a new dress, I also put on a new dress, redecorate my altar, my home. When nature withdraws, I also withdraw and reflect. I started to see the same places in different times of the year, telling different stories each time, allowing me to better understand the necessity of change and even start to embrace change in my own life. Now that I live in alignment with the cycles of nature, I understand the qualities of nature, the shifts in energy and can even feel them weeks before. I started to live seasonally and really honor what nature is gifting us each season, visible or invisible, which is also a much more sustainable way to live. I started attuning myself to the universal way of life and to harness the qualities of each season, aligning my practice to the seasons because it is so much easier to surf on the universal frequency instead of swimming against these big energetical waves. Running a witchy YouTube channel really forced me, and I say that in the most positive way, to do research and learn and read more books about witchcraft and folklore and herbalism. This constant research not only helped me to deepen my understanding of various witchcraft traditions and practices, but also helped me to dive deep into practices that I didn't know before, that became a part of my own practice. Researching various topics helped me to keep an open mind and understand how a topic may be seen from different points of views, which at the same time helps me to intuitively feel 
what resonates with me and what doesn't. One of the big lessons I've learned so far is that doing things in my unique way is perfectly fine. And it is even important to develop my own style and doing things my individual way. Like there are many spells out there that I could use as they are, but finding what ingredients work for me is so much more fun and magical than just copying what worked for another person. This also applies to making videos and decorating my home. I learned to be grateful for what I have in life right now, even though it is not where I ultimately want to be. Like owning this little dream fairy cottage castle to make over and film all these magical enchanted videos inside. But I think if you follow a passion, that is what will happen sooner or later. You walk your unique path, get inspiration here and there, find out what it is that you really want and then weave all of this into your own fairy tale. And when you show up your most authentic self, that's when you will really see magic happen. I love to remember days where I ventured out to do filming and something amazing happened, like that butterfly following me around and you remember that, right? Or the black cat I saw at a crossroads after I started working with Hecate. This time where the trees at my favorite place were in full bloom. When I look at old videos, I'm reminded of days or seasons of my life that otherwise I may forget. Because I share my witchy journey here, I am creating a little diary of the journey. I can look back and see how much I've changed and how my practice and interests have evolved over time. And it is so cool, even though a little bit cringy, to look at your old videos in a few years and be able to tell your past self. See, I told you we would make it. Over the past year I gained so much clarity about what I really love and want from life. With each video it has become clearer what I enjoy and what I want to focus on and even relearned about passions of mine, like thrifting, crafting and decorating. But sharing my life here also forces me to constantly check in with myself whether the different areas of my life are still in alignment with what I love or not. Questions like, how did my witchcraft practice change over time and what do I want to keep in my witchcraft practice may come up, or do I still feel good in my apartment or is it time to move on? Should I hold on to this 9 to 5 or finally let it go? Questions like these come up when you found your passion and start to attune to your most authentic witch. It's like doing reality checks all the time. At least that's how this witchy YouTube journey has been for me. And I wouldn't want it any other way. So I wanted to take this opportunity and just say thank you so much for your continuous support on this channel. Thank you so much for subscribing, for liking the videos, for commenting down below and sharing your own thoughts and experiences and making this a safe space for others to do the same. Thank you for sharing the videos with someone who may need to hear something that I said and thank you for allowing me to be my most authentic self on this little corner of the internet. And let me tell you one more thing, if you show up as your most authentic self, this is when the real magic will start to happen. If you peel off all these layers that are not really yourself, your most authentic self, this is when you will see changes in your life happening. This is when you will see people coming to you that are on your same frequency, that vibe with you. Like this is when the magic happens and we love that. So yeah, I really hope this video was kind of inspiring to you or helpful in any way. 
and let me know in the comments down below are you already sharing your unique magic with the world if so what is your unique magic let us know and how do you share it and if you don't share it also tell us like what is your unique magic and how would you want to share it and yeah again thank you so much and we will hang out again next week and i hope you have a good week magical one and see you then bye bye